Okay. Um, I have all my teeth pulled out. I guess it's been a week yesterday. Um, all gone. Um, they took away part of the jaw, also the jawbone, um, between the teeth and my tongue. On the, basically, I had an overgrown bone, so they had to cut that out. So it's been rough with the teeth. Um, better every day, but it's still rough. Um, had the chemo port over here. Um, and the feeding tube over here. Um, put in on Monday. Um, chemo port, honestly, it was, they did them both together, made sense. Um, while you're under like twilight, so you're kind of aware but you're not. Um, can somewhat respond, somewhat understand. Um, but anyway, they did the chemo port. I mean, they felt it, but basically uneventful very quickly. Um, came time to do the feeding tube. Things were quite quite a bit rougher for me. Um, I'm sure it's not the case with everybody, but for me it was. And the reason being, what they do when they put the feeding tube in, um, they uh, bu -bu -bu have to bring the stomach up against the... Um, the abdominal wall so when they put the feeding tube in they don't puncture any intestines and make sure that nothing else is hitting the way so I'm pretty sure the way it is it's probably something like this grommet or whatever on the inside um, up against it and that's pretty much stomach acid and junk in there um, there's a clamp over here for it and then if I need to I get the proper foods to squeeze, I guess, your syringes in there. If this bill becomes if I can't swallow, um, just with the treatments I'm going to be getting on the throat with the radiation and everything. And this little one over here will be for medications. Um, but then, um, but what I would have with me, what they have to do is they blow the stomach up with air for that process to basically bring the stomach closer to the abdominal wall. And they, and they have to make sure with an endoscope that that, that, that nothing else is in the way. Um, I guess that's, you know, it's more um, fluoroscopy they use for that. Um, but every time they went to go through a twilight, well, not every time, but four times, I, I jerked or moved something, so they had to blow my stomach up with air another four, th total of four times um, until they got it. Um, they tell me to stop moving every time, and I thought I was, and all of a sudden I get that pain, and my head just jerks, or I got stupid, and I got nosy to look and see what was going on, and anyway, it's, it's, it's typical soreness that I would expect from this, and, and right now it's, it's almost, it's, it's so negligent. Um, feeding tube on the other hand, for me anyway, um, it's been rough. The first night was truly excruciating. Um, wasn't until midday that I started feeling somewhat better. Each night hurts, each morning really sucks, but each night and morning suck a little less than the previous ones. So, it's not as, yeah, yeah. no teeth, is it? Oh God, I can bug people out. <laughs>